What's up guys, Natal Nick here, and welcome back to another Top 10 Tuesday. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Top 10 Splatoon Weapon Sets. Now I know I've uh, done a Top 10 Splatoon Weapons, but that was back when the game didn't even come out. It was based off of the test fire, and it was pretty bad, you have to admit. And it was um, based off of the sub-special and main weapons in the test fire, which there was only 11 back then in the test fire but now I think that uh, all the weapons have been released in Splatoon but even though there's still more content coming like the Marine Cali Amiibos but I think that's it for the weapons showing that uh, Sheldon's Picks Volume 2 came out a couple weeks ago and I think that's it for the weapons sadly so I decided why not make a top 10 Splatoon weapon set so this list is just gonna be the sets that I think are the best in Splatoon and number one is going to be like the best with both ranked battles and um, turf wars where the last spot might be decent at both but not like really good and I'm only going to be doing one weapon uh, per set I guess you could say where like if I have the Splattershot Jr. on this list then I won't have the custom Splattershot Jr. so like any like other customs of that weapon it's not going to be on the list I'm just going to have the best one out of the weapon but anyway without further ado let's go to number 10 at number 10 we have the wasabi splatter shot now this weapon is your standard basic weapon it's basically the logo of splatoon weapons where it's the weapon that everyone knows and stuff but yeah it's a pretty decent weapon it has decent fire rate decent damage and decent uh, range and it comes with the ink strike and the splat bomb which are very good in my opinion as spe special and sub weapons and I feel like the ink strike is better than the uh, bomb rush of the splat bombs or actually no it's the burst bombs and that's the uh, special for the regular splatter shot but yeah I mean it's a really good weapon for both uh, rank battles and turf wars but it's only decent it doesn't it's not the best weapon and that's why it's at number 10 anyway on to number nine we have the ink brush nuvu which is a pretty good weapon in my opinion when I first uh, saw the splatoon direct I actually thought that uh, the ink brush was gonna be my main weapon but I soon figured out it wasn't that good for covering ink that much you had to rapidly fire the ZR button that's why it's at number nine a little bit because you really have to jam that ZR button if you want to be good at the ink brush but yeah I feel like it's a really good weapon because with the bubbler and the ink mine you're basically um, really stealth because you can just plant ink mines on your uh, ink brush trail when you're going really fast with your ink brush and you can just put a mine right there and someone could like be clean that up but then the ink mine just explodes and it might actually kill them and then with also the bubbler since this is a close range weapon with the bubbler it makes it much easier to destroy enemies or um, opponents I guess because you're protected with the bubbler and you can just be like swinging that ink brush around and killing everyone near you without getting hurt because you have a bubbler and it's really useful because you're, you have to get close up if you want to kill someone but yeah it's a really good weapon and um, it's good for turf wars and also for ranked battles a little bit but anyway at number eight we have the slusher deco which is a very good weapon I really do like the slushers and how they are used and how they can like be splatted over walls and stuff like that and it's basically like a charger weapon if you know what I mean because like it has like a little bit of um, longer like range at the end of the weapon and it just buckets and you just keep going on and on and it's better than a charger weapon because you don't have to really charge it but it's kind of like a new swifter without having to charge the weapon and with the uh, splash wall it's also very good because you're protected and you can be attacking them from the other side where they can't really be doing that and then when you're in any situation you have the Kraken which is also very good 
Anyway, on to number 7, we have the NZAP85. So this is one of the best weapons to cover ink, because it has a sprinkler and the ink strike, which are the two best um, sub and special weapons for covering ink. And it's a rapid fire weapon, really good for just covering ink. It's amazing at turf wars, but for ranked battles, not so much. You can get killed because of how close range it is. Snipers can really kill you. And uh, same thing with blasters and other things that have long range can really just kill you. But with turf wars, if you're just going around just shooting your uh, sprinklers and shooting, launching off ink strikes and just shooting everywhere, it's a very good weapon. And of course, it looks like the N NES Zapper, which is also very good. Anyway, at number six, we have the Heavy Splatling. And this is basically a charger fast fire rate weapon and it's the two combined and it's a really good weapon though it really is and um it's basically a charge up um rapid fire weapon but it has longer range and also i think it does more damage than most rapid fire weapons um but yeah it has the ink strike and the splash wall which the splash wall actually helps a real bunch because um, while you're charging that thing up, you can be protected by the splash wall if you have enough uh, ink, that is, though. Because it does take up a decent amount of ink, but it's a really good weapon. And the only problem is that, again, it takes up a lot of ink, and in order to protect yourself, you need the splash wall. But, yeah, the only downside is to have to charge it, and you can get really killed if um, you haven't charged it, and someone's right in your face. Like, a ink brush guy or something like that anyway at number five we have the splatter shot pro now this is a pretty good weapon it has i think more range and damage than the regular splatter shot but has a little bit less fire rate and it comes with the ink strike and the splat bomb kind of like the wasabi splatter shot did but it's a lot better because it just is because it can destroy people much easier it was my main to my main go-to weapon for ranked battles actually before I figured out another weapon which I'll show off later but it's a really good weapon really good range really good damage good for killing and also pretty good for uh, covering ink because it has the ink strike and the splat bomb which are really good for covering ink so it's really good for um, ranked battles but it's also very good for um, uh, turf Wars. Anyway, at number 4 we have the .52 Gal Deco. Now this is a very good weapon also, that's why it's at number 4, where it has really good damage and also a really good um, fire rate for it doing so much damage and also a good amount of range. And it's kind of like the Splatter Shot Pro except I think it has a little bit more damage and range than the Splatter Shot Pro, but has a little bit less fire rate. And it comes with the Seeker and the Ink Strike, where the Seeker is very good for taking out enemies, and the Ink Strike is good for um, covering ink. So it's good for both ranked battles and turf wars, because you can get some kills with the gun and also the Seeker, and it can also cover some ink with the gun and the Ink Strike, because the gun's basically... Um, a really good like fire rate for doing so much damage and range anyway at number three we have the first weapon that you get the splatter shot junior and it is a very very good weapon for being the first weapon that you get it comes with the bubbler and the splat bomb and the bubbler can really help you especially because it's a fast fire rate weapon but doesn't have that good range so if you want to go kill some people, or if someone's trying to kill you with a long range weapon, just put on your bubbler, and you're good. You can kill anyone, and it's just a really good weapon for covering ink. It's not that good for ranked battles. The only good part about it is having the bubbler and having it rapid fire. Good for ter uh, splat zones. and But other than that, it's just very good for turf wars but okay in ranked battles anyway at number two we have the crack on roller now this is a really really good weapon in my opinion i really love just whacking that roller everywhere you go and 
it's really good with the squid beacon and the kraken because the squid beacon you can die a lot easier with the splat roller because people with like any weapon can basically kill you especially snipers and even though that happens you have the squid beacon to go back to where you were and with the kraken you can actually do some crazy things with the uh, squid beacon and the kraken you can actually look that up it's actually crazy like when people are up on high edges and you put a squid beacon uh, below it and then you use a kraken and then use super jump to the squid beacon you can kill the person on the um, on the top like sniping position but yeah it's a really good weapon it's my go-to weapon for ranked battles just really good and it's also very good for turf zones or no turf wars because um, it can cover a lot of ink especially whacking that roller everywhere but it did get nerfed because um, it can one hit kill before but now it can only one hit kill when the center of the uh, roller is about to hit someone anyway at number one you guys probably saw this coming the arrow spray RG if you don't know um, my channel I use it all the time unless I'm showing off a weapon but yeah it's really really good has the best fire rate in the game and just putting down those ink mines are really really good unless you have a someone has a bomb sniffer and then the ink strike with it you can just go crazy with this weapon and it's really good because the offense part about it is the ink mines which are very good for uh, ranked battles especially when you're doing tower control you just put down an ink mine and people can die pretty easily if they don't have a bomb sniffer and also the ink mine's pretty good for um, splat zones too because while they're trying to cover the ink it'll just explode and then they'll have to cover it again and then with the ink strike it's also very good for covering ink and for splat zones and for just everything this weapon's just absolutely perfect and even though the aerospray MG is also very good with the seeker and the um, ink zuka it's more of a killing weapon than um, covering ink but with here and the ink strike it's just a perfect match and I like the ink strike much more than the ink zuka and you guys probably know that if you're used to my channel but anyway that is the top 10 splatoon weapon sets and um, if you have any suggestions of like what top 10 I should do next let me know and if you guys have any um if you if I missed any weapons that are really good I did not put any um, charger weapons because I don't think those are really that good if I was gonna put a charger weapon it'd probably be the bamboozler because when you add attack ups to it it can be a one hit kill and it's really fast charging but um, yeah I also didn't add any blasters but blasters are also very good but they're only really used for kills mainly but anyway, like I said, that's gonna that's the top 10 Splatoon weapons. And yeah, so thank you all for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and stay tuned for more Top 10 Tuesdays right here on Town Deck. Bye.